Hello everybody, it's Pineapple here, back with another video. Now, the question I get asked the most about Labyrinth is budget. Uh, can I do things with budget? You know, what are some budget alternatives, etc, etc, because Lab is, you know, unfortunately a very expensive deck. Now, the other day I put out a poll and I asked, you know, what budget would you like to see me make a video about? Uh, 100, 150, etc, etc. You know how these go. Um, and it was kind of an even split between 150 and $100. So I decided we'll do all of them. You know, we'll just have a little mini series about building on budget uh, for Lab specifically. Now, when you are on budget, of course, you are going to lean more into the trap heavy build uh, because simply put, things like skill drain uh, are really, really cheap. Um, they're very accessible, Solemn Strike, Torrential Tribute, they're just really, really cheap, accessible cards that you can access for not a lot of money. Whereas Lab is an engine, things like Lady, things like Ariana are like at least 15 bucks a pop um, because, you know, Konami hates us. Uh, Mockraker is also a really expensive card, as is, uh, what's it called, uh, Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel is like a $60 card, so obviously they are not in this list for, uh, you know, a variety of reasons. Uh, if you're looking at you know, some of my other lists, uh, you'll notice we're on extra instead of prosperity. And we didn't even get to finish the extra deck because $100 is very, very tight. Uh, I got it to $99.98 uh, in order to get this list that by my account would probably, you know, can win uh, or even top a regional. Uh, just a very, very strong, you know, it's trap lap. It's going to stun people. It's going to make them frustrated. Uh, things, if you look and you notice that we are missing already, uh, the extra copy of Lady, uh, it's missing, which very much sucks, but, you know, you can rock with one Lady. Uh, the other thing is we only have two Ariana, uh, but other than that, you know, we supplemented it with Ariane. Uh, while it is worse and more vulnerable to hand traps, you know, it can also just high roll you into the game. Uh, uh, if you can afford more uh, options for XEs, like things like Dugaris or Machinex, uh, they're very accessible, very cheap. Uh, as well, unfortunately, I couldn't find the room as of the taping of this video, which is by my accounts uh, the 14th of July. Uh, so that said, we'll hop into some cover card. Uh, one lady, because again, it's a, like a $17 card, couldn't find the money for it. Uh, copy of Lovely, fortunately this is like a $2 card, so we could find, you know, space for it. Uh, copy of Archfiend, just an extra way to trigger our lady. You know, another big guy to get out to, you know, pair with our skill train. Just a, like, solid card to give us options with Fair Welcome to trigger lady multiple times. Ariane, if you're unfamiliar with this card, it says send a normal trap from your hand or that's set on your field to the graveyard. Special summon one level four lower fiend monster from your deck in defense position, except itself. And if another monster leaves the field by a normal trap effect, you get to draw a card and then special or set. Uh, this card is very, very solid. It's really good for making, you know, our link twos and our extra deck. Uh, just a fantastic all-around card. Uh, additionally, you can play Red Resonator uh, if you're on budget. It's like a dollar card that can give you a time win condition, uh, which while I don't think is optimal, is very, very funny. Uh, so we have two copies of Ariana, you know, the best normal one in the deck. Uh, Ariana A is extra copies of Ariana, but we need to find her. Uh, we're on three copies of each of the furniture. Uh, these just find us our engine. Uh, just fantastic all-around cards, you know, recursion. Uh, they play around drain very well, so just fantastic cards. Uh, you know, clock to set, uh, activate Eradicator, activate D-Barrier to turn their set. Same with deck dev. Uh, our copy of the field spell. Since we are on the trap version and we are playing something like a Torrential Tribute, this card is significantly more impactful as we can Torrential the board and then get back something like a Lady or Lovely. Uh, since Lady, you know, is affected and can be destroyed by your normal traps, keep that in mind if you Torrential someone. A uh, copy of Called by the Grave. Again, we want to beat uh, exactly Ash Blossom and Bell, so the dollar price tag is very much worth it. Uh, three copies of Extra, it's like a dollar fifty, uh, but when you compare that to the thirty dollar price tag of Pot of Prosperity, uh, it's a not really a hard choice to make. Uh, this card's fantastic, and while we don't have a full extra deck, uh, you're not really going to be going into it other than to send punishment targets, so who really cares? Uh, two copies of Welcome. This card's like a $1.50, um, and while it is like a $1.50, you know, you only need two anyways, so, you know, the $3 price tag for your standard Welcomes is perfectly acceptable. Three copies of Big Welcome. This is unfortunately like a $5 card, which means it takes up about 15% of our budget here, uh, and subsequently, you know, it is a three of no matter what, no matter how many copies of Lady we play, we just need this card. Uh, just a fantastic, fantastic card that we... Uh, need to play. Uh, it's all of our recursion, it triggers all of our furniture, causes us to go like plus 15, plus a million, etc, etc. A uh, copy of Fair Welcome. Uh, this is our target for Archfiend to set. Uh, just a really good card to get to like Eradicator, get to Ice Dragons, get to Punishment, Daruma, etc, etc. Uh, just a set, uh, unbelievable card that allows us to give us so many more opportunities to trigger Lady, uh, to get the normal trap we need out of deck. Just a fantastic card. Uh, when you pair it with Archfiend. A uh, copy of Punishment, just your generic removal spell, just, you know, pop two. 
uh, it's punishment. Uh, we're on Malong as well, just so that, you know, we always will have a punishment target because, you know, our extra deck is a little thin because uh, we are poor. Um, Terrors of the Overroot, um, just fantastic against Castira. You know, set set their stupid Ash Blossom on their field, send their Fenrir. Uh, GG's, um, just fantastic, fantastic, fantastic card, uh, especially in this meta specifically. Uh, it gets things out of Grave. Uh, it's like 50 cents. It's not even 50 cents. It's like 10 cents because it's a common from, like, Daifo. Uh, just fantastic card. Uh, IDP, it's gotten, like, three reprints now, so it's, like, 10 cents. Uh, just a fantastic card. You know, hits Graveyard decks very, very strong. Um, just really good removal. You know, where it's at premium. We want to be finding as many different, you know, options of removal because, again, uh, we need to keep things cheap, and subsequently, IDP is a very cheap uh, affordable option to get us a non-targeting banish, uh, even if it is conditional. Um, Eradicator, thankfully, it's got a reprint in Wildest Survivors and is five cents, uh, because this is one of your bigger win cons. Uh, just a fantastic card. You know, it beats Har Harpy's Feather Duster, which we really need to do because we are on the Trap Heavy variant, uh, which means that we lose significantly harder to something like a Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, Dim Barrier, this is your primary way of interacting with Branded, and while it is not super good, it can be side, it can be main, uh, that's up to you, but you definitely should have this in the in at least your deck at some capacity because it is a 15 cent card that reads win the game against a lot of rogue decks uh Daruma cannon this is a five dollar card uh it's a hefty hefty price tag for our budget but it's our only consistent way to out things like towers monsters uh link spam decks just a just an unbelievable card Daruma cannot sing its praises enough uh the amount of times you book the board you know they know special summon unicorn uh Daruma uh let's go next uh just unbelievable card Book of Moon's a great card having a searchable one is fantastic uh Torrential Tribute is a really 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 strong budget option uh there are so many decks that just you know they you flip Torrential like Cash Dira you flip Torrential when they make an Arise Heart um they 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 can't beat this card um just fantastic card Torrential is so good in budget and so many people just don't play around it anymore um you know you should always be respecting Torrential uh just a super powerful blowout card that you know, you're going to catch people off guard with. Uh, it's not something you want to be searching, so you want to be, you know, hard drawing it. Just an incredible blowout, fantastic uh, card for budget because it's like 15 cents. Uh, every single OTS store that you ever go to will have like 50 billion of these in like their common pile. Just unbelievable card. Uh, get Torrential Tribute if you're on budget. Um, Psalm Strike, uh, it's a 15 cent card because it got reprinted in the Grand Masters, if I remember right. Is that what it's called? Or the Grand Creators, whichever one it is. I can't ever remember what the side sets are called. Um, and it's 15 cents, and it reads beat Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, while also being a super strong counter trap for extra deck summons that are not fusion, because fusion summons with, you know, uh, spell card. Uh, just a super good card. Um, you can also use it as a pseudo imperm, which we cannot afford, because imperm is like a $10 card, unfortunately. Um, we are on copies of Skill Drain. Uh, this is just the best generic floodgate right now. Uh, it's Skill Drain. Uh, you know, Lady's a 3k beater, Lovely's a 29k beater. Uh, just... It's skill drain. There are so many times where you flip drain and it just says win the game. Uh, I got a reprint in the latest structure deck. I got a reprint in Mama. It's like a dollar. Uh, very, very cheap card. Very accessible card at this point. Uh, so, you know, play drain. Uh, it's going to win you games just on its own. Um, and in the extra uh, copy of Cyber Dark and Dragon, uh, this is just a really big punishment guy. He's just a, he's just a dude. Uh, three Cubs of Ventus and Three Cubs of Malong. These are just your primary punishment targets. Um, just to make sure we don't lose all of them. You know, of course, we are playing six uh, total. Uh, Malong is just Entis, but smaller, who bounces instead of popping. Uh, we have a win co copy of Win Pegasus. It's just bad Entis, you know, an extra copy. Uh, just, it's just there. It's just a good, cheap common that's five cents. Um, Cerberus and Phoenix, you know, just removal, you know, standard removal cards. Um, we need removal. That's that's all I have to say. Um, you you want to be able to go into removal. You can play these under your welcome lock. Uh, just fantastic cards. Um, and subsequently, you know, you want to have them just to be able to do something with your extra if you need to. Uh, we can't afford Muckraker, but we can't afford uh, the Nightmares. Now, in the side, we have three copies of Cosmic. Uh, spell Trap removal is always very strong, uh, and subsequently, Cosmic is exceptionally good. Uh, it banishes, which means that, you know, you're always going to have it online. It can beat other trap decks who want to play Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Just a really, really strong card. Uh, it's like 15 cents because it got a reprint in Tactical Masters. So uh, it's very accessible, very cheap, very uh, easy to get your hands on. Uh, copy Harpy's Feather Duster. This got a structure deck reprint, I believe, in like the Egyptian God reprint. Uh, it's just such a blowout when you want spell trap removal, and it is like 70 cents. So, of course, we're going to play it. Uh, three copies of Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. This card is unbelievable in this deck. Um, the idea behind this is that you will pitch Interrupted Kaiju Slumber for a piece of furniture uh, on your opponent's turn so that you can get a kaiju on your turn. Uh, mitig both mitigating the cost of the furniture and also getting you, you know, a kaiju. 
uh, for kaijus were on Thunder King and Gadarla because they are the cheapest uh, and the most accessible uh, for that reason alone. Uh, it's interrupted kaiju slumber. Uh, it's Raigeki. It's also, you know, going to add you kaijus when you, you know, pitch it for the furniture. Just a really, 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 really strong card. Uh, uh, subsequently, we are on kaijus, you know, just so that if we have to activate it, you know, we can. Uh, just a really strong going second option. Uh, a copy of Deck Dev in the side. Um, Beat Sprite. Uh, full Force is a dollar. Deck Dev got reprinted in, I believe, uh, the uh, Wild of Survivors. So, you know, it's five cents. Uh, you can get your hands on it very easy. Uh, just a fantastic card. You know, if some, you're, someone's opening Wild of Survivors, you know, just ask. Just, just be like, hey, can I steal this one bulk card? There's a 95% chance if they're a nice dude, they will, you know, let you, you know, steal a copy of uh, Deck Dev. Uh, copies of Gozen, uh, it's like a dollar. Uh, it reads win the game against Kashdira. Uh, it reads win the game against a lot of rogue decks. Uh, obviously, this can be, you know, rivalry if the meta changes, but, you know, you can get your hands on both of them for very, 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 very cheap. Um, so that's our list for $100. And just to prove it, we'll go through it on the TCG player shopping cart. So looking at our TCG player cart, we have 68, you know, items in here because uh, unfortunately, you know, we couldn't find those two extra deck cards because... As you can see, we are already two cents below budget, and we are not finding, you know, any of the extra deck cards that we would, you know, want to put in here for two cents. Um, obviously, you know, shipping is fourteen dollars, but uh, I'm going on item price here. I did optimize it. I can probably get it cheaper, but that's a whole lot of effort to figure out exact pricing uh, when the general concept fails the same roll. Well, exactly, as you can see, Darum is a four dollar card, uh, four fifty, which really, really hurts our budget here. Serve is like forty five cents. Uh, you can get Cyclone for like a nickel on a dime. Uh, deck Dev, you know, a couple pennies. Uh, Malog, a couple pennies. Archfiend, pennies. Chandra, pennies. Clock, pennies. Field Spells, pennies. Stovies, pennies. Torrential, again, pennies. Uh, and this is like a buck, whatever. Uh, goes into a dollar, you know. Uh, Phoenix is 20 cents. A uh, dollar for Called by the Grave here. 15 cents for Dim Barrier. 10 cents for our Kaijus. You know, almost $2 for our copies of Pot, but... You know, whatever we gotta have them. Uh, of course, you know, Kaiju's ten cents because they have structure deck reprints. Torrential still like ten cents. Uh, Lovely's like two fifty here. You know, kind of hurts the budget. Big hurts here on big welcome. You know, five bucks, a dollar for skill drain, like fifty cents for interrupted Kaiju slumber. Worth every penny. It's gonna win you a ton of games. Uh, Duster fifty cents. Serve you know another eighteen cents. Again, big welcome hurts a lot. You gotta have it. Uh, Cyber Dark and Dragon, you know, good big punishment target, really, really cheap. Uh, Solemn Strike, 20 cents. Terrors, 18 cents. Big Welcome, again, $5, really hurts. Drain is like a dollar. Uh, Ariana, a dollar. Uh, and it gets us to Ariana, which is really good. Fair Welcome's like a penny. Uh, Wind Pegasus, like really cheap. Eradicator, a nickel. Punishment is like a dollar, but you know, you gotta have it just really, really strong removal. I IDP, 50 cents. Welcome almost two dollars here really hurts but you again gotta have it ariana another another 75 cents there's another like 65 cents in for our emphasis ariana like 16 bucks really really hurts that our normal summon is 16 dollars uh lady 17 uh you know the second ariana another 16 you see my point here like there are exactly like four cards that are worth more than like five dollars and all of them are cards we want to play at, at least two copies upwards of three uh so you know that's where your budget's really gonna hurt and you're gonna lose out on things like chaos angel and muckraker but that said i hope you guys did enjoy this video uh, i hope you guys learned some you know budget alternatives i uh, got an idea for a list if you you know are struggling with budget uh we'll have another list out you know for 150 soon uh make sure you guys like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one